Hey everyone, Quesoman Rules here. Today we're going to be doing a Linux tutorial on how to edit your Grub2 menu. Now, uh, previously uh, we've been able to edit the Grub menu because it was Grub1, the original Grub, and it was very easy to edit the entries in your Grub menu just by editing the menu.lst file, which was very easy and convenient. Unfortunately, uh, Grub2 has made things infinitely more confusing, I'm not gonna lie, and I really don't know why they did it this way. But, I've gone through and figured out exactly how you can change the entries, so uh, this is exactly what you need to do, and you need to follow it step by step and be careful. Alright, so the first things that you're going to need to do just to change the entries are enter in two command line commands. The ones that you're going to need are the second and third ones right here. I'll have those in the description as well as the first, but we're not going to get to that yet. Um, you're going to need to type in sudo space gedit space slash etc slash grub dot d slash 40 underscore custom. That's to a specific file that's going to open up in the gedit text editor. Then you're going to need to do sudo space gedit space slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. Alright, so what you're going to need to do is first look at your grub.cfg file. Now if you look at it right at the top, it says do not edit this file, and it's very important that you don't. But we're not going to, we're just going to be copying and pasting some things from inside it. This file is actually a script generated by 40 underscore custom. So uh, what we're going to need to do is scroll down to the point where it says uh, begin right here, and you see things that begin with menu entry. Alright, so what you're just going to need to do is go all the way down and copy down to right here. As you can see right here, this is where the memtest86 plus stuff begins. Whether or not you add that or don't add that to this list, it's still going to show up unless you do a separate alteration, which we're not going to be going over in this tutorial just to keep it short. It's not that important. Um, but what you're going to need to do is just copy all this, and then under your 40 underscore custom file, after these commented lines right here, go ahead and just paste it in. Alright, so now we're going to be looking at uh, all the operating systems that are currently available. Now this is a virtual machine running specifically Ubuntu, but if you're dual booting with Windows, you'll also have a menu entry that probably says um, Windows 7, or whatever you're running. Um, and if you don't see it under there, you're going to probably want to scroll down further and copy that section where you see it, because it may be down at the bottom. I'm not entirely sure. But um, let's go back to the 40 underscore custom file. Now that it's here, you can begin editing it. So under menu entry, since we don't want it to have this long name with a kernel, kernel number, we can just do Ubuntu 9.10, and we can change this one to Ubuntu 9.10 recovery mode. So that's pretty simple and easy as that. After you've done that, you can go ahead and save the 40 underscore custom file, and it will change the alterations. Now, the actually only thing that you still need to do is, while it's like this, it's not going to change until you run a specific command line command. So go ahead and open up another terminal window, and in this one we're going to type sudo update-grub. Enter in your password, and it's as simple as that. It's going to generate a grub.cfg file, as I said earlier, and as you can see it went through and found these things that we just uh, edited and added them right there. So there you go, that's a really, really simple, well not simple, but simple total way, not as easy as it used to be, but fairly simple still, on how to add or edit uh, entries into your Grub menu. But that's how to do it via command line and actually editing the files. There are probably software um, out there that you could also use, so you might want to look for that. But that's how to add or edit or change files um, on your Grub2 menu for Ubuntu 9.10. Thanks guys for watching, and if you like this tutorial, and if you like Linux tutorials, if you would like more, go ahead and leave a comment about it, because this isn't my normal thing, I normally do Windows tutorials. But if you liked it, go ahead and leave a comment. If you have any questions also about the Grub2 menu or any other questions, go ahead and tell me that. I will also put a link in the description for the guide where I learned all of this information, and in that included is a way to remove the memtest86 plus uh, entries from your Grub menu. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Case of Man Rules. I really appreciate it. Bye.